Okay, a few days ago, I was talking with a friend of mine uh, who is in who is from Ukraine and is located in Kiev. Uh, he is one of the top IT experts, um, I would say, in the world. And he, together with his wife and his uh, little daughter, are in a currently or back then when we were exchanging some uh, chat messages on Instagram, was in a bunker and was trying to protect everyone everyone who is super important to him and obviously uh, in this case his family. On the next day the same person had to travel for hundreds of kilometers and to run away from his own city just to make sure that he and his family are safe. When we started the vlog series that you are currently watching we never thought that something like this will happen or that we are going to be recording a message like this. However, me and my whole team is shocked by the horrible things that are happening in Ukraine and by the war that Russia started against the Ukrainian people. Thus, uh, at least from our end, what we are going to do is to try to support the Ukrainian people in any shape or form. And the first thing that we already uh, did was to find the local organizations here in Sofia, Bulgaria, and to provide all the product necessities for the Ukrainian people that we can provide. Hopefully you are going to support in such a way or an even a bigger way um, such organizations around you. And yeah, before we move on with the uh, before we move on with the vlog that you are here to see, uh, we just wanted to say that we really hope and we truly hope uh, this war is going to be over very very soon. On our way for the first training for this week. Tomorrow we are going to be again in the same place. Uh, this is the Bulgarian Bank for Development. Uh, yeah, overall, that's what's going on right now. I am not sure that you're going to be able to see inside of the bank because I think it's forbidden to shoot inside. We'll do our best, but not promising anything, all right? A retrospective is a meeting that we do after every presentation project and basically what it means is we simply gather the whole team who worked on that particular project, we discuss what went well, what didn't go well and we basically take all of the lessons learned, we put them into our process to ensure that we can improve the service for the next presentation project. highly highly encouraging everyone who is in the creative space but not only uh, to do retrospectives after a project is done uh, what this is is you go with the whole team that worked on the project and you just say to yourself hey what what have we done right and what could we do better the next time when we have a similar project super insightful meetings incredible feedback from everyone and you just become better uh, as an organization We're going for a second day of training with the Bulgarian Development Bank. Yesterday was insane. These guys are so curious. It's so lovely to see. And there were a lot of discussions around slides versus slide docs or slide documents, meaning presentations that are being presented and ones that are being sent over email. Huge, hugely important that those two are different. I was saying that there was just such a huge curiosity around everything that we were discussing yesterday on the topic of storytelling, but one topic that was not that related was about slides versus slide docs and presentations that are being sent over email. 
uh, and presentations that are being delivered online or in person. It's so lovely to see that nowadays this discussion is more and more relevant and then people understand that those two are different. So for everyone who is watching, if you are presenting online or in person, and if you then need to send something over email because you're going to be asked, hey, are you going to send this presentation over? These two things are completely different presentations. <laughs> completely different presentations and it's lovely to see that people understand that. And even though it takes a lot of time to prepare and work on both of those files, because these are two files, when the case is important, you need to do that. That's it. Yes, we're going in. And I was speaking in Bulgarian first. <laughs> yeah, we're nice. going in for the training and then we'll see you after yeah, four hours, mm -hmm. not five, four hours. Uh, because we have to go there in the Costa Coffee. Yeah, because we have an interview for event manager. So we are going to be interviewing a lovely person, lovely lady for the role um, in the Costa Cafe. So hopefully, hopefully uh, things will work there. We'll see. Crazy, crazy good. Obviously, we're 25 minutes after the training was over. There were there were a lot of discussions, a lot of things that people were asking for, mm -hmm. especially in regards to data visualization because they present. This is the bank. They present a lot of data. Mm -hmm. uh, we are running late for the interview, so we need to run for that interview. It's super important. <laughs> it's so nice to work with people that want to know, you know, and to who want to learn more. It just makes the whole process just so easy and enjoyable for the trainer uh, himself or herself. Um, a lot of questions in regards to PowerPoint, quite a lot of people shocked by the morph transition and by the things that it, you can do when you're not a designer. So if you don't know morph, it's high time for you to see it. It's a 2016 feature. It's 2022 <laughs> right now, all right? You need to use that one, or at least you need to know about it. But yeah, just a lot of things around PowerPoint, a lot of hacks uh, that we go, went through in regards to uh, productivity uh, and just time savers. And yeah, a lot of questions around data visualization and how, visual, how to visualize tables, charts and graphs. Yeah, that was the main focus. Uh, all good here. Uh, we are trying to reach to as many people as possible for the conference, so selling tickets more or less. Uh, but today we had a training at Milestone and that one was a little bit shorter than we expected because it was a practice session. So we didn't have that many presentations to discuss, so we decided to cut the session a little. Uh, but then, yeah, I stopped by for another event that is organized and hosted by one of our customers, the Bulgarian Development Bank, to see them presenting in action, which was fun. Uh, and overall, yeah, am I missing something? No, the, band, the training in the morning, the band in their event, now the sales of the tickets. No, I don't think we're missing anything. So tomorrow will be more or less meet. Actually, now I have two meetings with uh, some other organizations in regards to trainings and stuff. But tomorrow is going to be more or less meetings and sales, then sales and meetings. And yeah, we're going to wrap it up with another set of meetings. So it will be kind of crazy, crazy day. Right? That's what's happening behind the scenes right now. I forgot to mention something. 
uh, we have quite some updates in regards to the present to succeed conference uh, we now you can go to the agenda page now and see a lot of a lot of a lot of zaras probably <laughs> with a green ball <laughs> Yeah, going there. So we have quite some updates in regards to the conference and the speakers. So we have uh, Sean Vioron, who is the Vice President of PowerPoint. Uh, he has now sent us his session. He's going to be talking about how they are adapting the product, meaning PowerPoint, for the upcoming hybrid world. We have Jan Kek, uh, who is a great YouTuber, who is going to talk a little bit more about the latest features in Zoom. Everyone uses Zoom, you use it. You have to know what's the latest, what are the latest features there. Uh, we also have uh, Margaret Jacobs, uh, who is an incredible speaker from Amsterdam. Uh, she's already on the agenda. You can check her out. And I think I'm missing somebody. Oh, Rich Mohon, who was also one of the best rated speakers at last year's event, is coming back joining us again. You shouldn't miss his session on using stories to sell at the end of the first day. Plus a lot more. Just go to presentsucceed.com slash agenda and see for yourself. And if you still don't have a ticket, now is the time to buy one. You know, don't miss the opportunity.